what is up guys Daniel here and welcome back to the channel I hope you are doing really good so 2020 is almost over thank God <laughs> and I think it has made us a lot more conscious of ourselves and a lot more thankful as well whether that be family or friends it doesn't really matter 2020 is definitely a year to remember one of the things that have been helping me you know, get through this period of time is technology. And so I thought, hmm, why not just make a video talking to you guys about all the pieces of tech. I mean, definitely not all, but most of the tech that I've been using that have really been helping me you know, do what I gotta do. I'm no tech reviewer, so I'm not sponsored or anything. Or do I get free stuff? But, so I have with me right now a whole bag of stuff and so without further ado let's just jump right into this video shall we all right now we're back let me let me try to get all my stuff in order right all right so one of the first things i want to talk about is what you're hearing right now because I'm using a very special mic for that purpose and you can see it on my chest right now and that's the Saramonic Blink 500 it's basically the microphone that I've been using for actually not that long I've only been using it for at least the first couple recent videos that you've been watching on the channel it comes with a transmitter and a receiver and the receiver goes into your camera or your phone and this little transmitter is what you would attach you know it has a microphone built in so you could just attach it straight to your chest like so or like me I'm using the included lavalier microphone which is like a you know mini mic that plugs into the ceremonic like that and then it runs a line all the way up to your chest and so that's how I've been getting some super clear crispy audio hopefully it sounds good to you guys um, I don't know you you let me know and what's pretty cool is like apart from it charging with USB-C it also has like at least five to six hours of battery life on a single charge and so that has been really cool and it's been really simple simple and easy wireless solution I actually even used it on all of my streams right that I had on my YouTube channel which you can check out in total it was like six hours streaming content and I've charged this one time and it's working wonders all right so moving on let's, let's get the bag here <laughs> we have this thing right this thing is a portable battery bank by Huawei you know I'm not sure the name of it I think it's uh, Huawei CP125 supercharged power bank. This has 12,000 milliamp hours, which could basically charge a modern smartphone at least four times. And yeah, it's been nice. It's a PD charger, which means power delivery. And so it can shoot up to, well, at least this one, up to 40 watts, which is enough to actually charge a Switch console while it's playing and docked, which I found very very awesome and yeah I can't live without this like there's so many lack of power sometimes in the dorm and so this is just what helps me power everything right my only gripe is I wish it had at least more ports as you can see it only has a USB-A and a USB-C and that's pretty much it like it has an indicator light and the USB-C is for both charging and outputting so it can output and charge at fast speeds the next item on the list is, let's see, where can I can find it? It's so small. Uh-huh, it's this Sandisk flash drive. I know it's a pretty boring, you know, flash drive, but this has been super useful. Like, just trying to get files around. Yeah, they're getting cheaper too. This is 128 gigabyte, which you would think, oh, it must cost so much money, but it costs like, I think, $30. So, yeah, not too expensive for what you get. And there's even a 256 gigabyte model. What I like about this is, and what I recommend to you guys when you're buying a flash drive is make sure it has two ends, like see? There's a USB-C end, 
for modern devices and there's a USB-A for all your legacy devices. And so by having these two, you're pretty much good for life. You're set for life. Moving on the list is a device I use when I want to listen to stuff and I don't want to disturb people. And ooh, where is it? Oh, it's basically this. Some, you know, wireless headphones. Well, earphones, earbuds, something like that. Basically, some audio device that is wireless and small. What I really like about these Xiaomi Mi Buds Basic, I think they're called, is that it's very small. Like, this is, this is small. The buds themselves are super low profile. I, I don't even think you can see it right now, but they're low profile, so like, you know, when I put it in my ears, you barely see them. You know, it's not like something sticking out. It actually looks very low profile and it's comfortable and it actually sounds pretty decent. Um, I think retail, it costs $30, but I bought them here in Cuba for 50. You know, people have to make a profit, I know, and it's still not a bad deal. Way cheaper than AirPods, like three times cheaper. So technically, you could buy three of these instead of one AirPod. No, AirPods cost, the cheapest one costs 159 right? So you could, if you get it for 30 you can buy five of these. <laughs> one for each of the family. One thing I have to say though is the, these buds, um, they recently stopped talking to each other. And what I mean is they no longer like detect each other. Like normally when you take out one, the, the next one connects automatically. Like it, this one finds the other one and it just connects. It doesn't do that anymore for some reason. And so now I have two individual buds, which I guess is okay if I want to make sure that the left one always connects to my tablet and the right one always connects to my phone. That's how I have it set up now. But it's really sad that you can't listen to stereo audio. It's all mono now, so that's my only gripe. But yeah, Xiaomi Mi Buds Air, <laughs> Xiaomi Mi Buds Basic. The next item on the list is definitely the iPad and I know I've talked so much about the iPad I made a video about it that you can watch here I think or here I don't know but yeah this iPad has been the best device ever like for everything for studying for writing for creating it doesn't matter what I love using this device you know yeah it's not the cheapest it's the 2018 this is the 2018 version of the iPad Pro well it's probably cheaper now, now that the Air came out and it looks exactly like this. Music making, photo editing, all of that jazz. This device is just perfect. The only thing I don't like doing on this is, what do you call it, writing up papers. I just don't like the experience, I guess, that you get on laptops. You can have multiple windows and like a browser tab open and like you can reference everything. This is a little bit more limiting that I can only have two apps side by side. But other than that, this is it, man, this is it. <laughs> and what I use to complement with this, right? As you can see, this doesn't have a headphone jack. It only has one USB-C port. So what the next item on the list is something that I've also recently got. Shout out to Daryl for bringing it for me. It's this. It's, a, it's the basis six-in-one USB-C hub, right? Basically, it has a USB-C end, and uh, it gives you a host of legacy peripherals like headphone jack, another USB-C for pass-through charging, uh, SD, micro SD card, HDMI, and even a USB-A port. I've been using this so much. This has been so useful for when I'm trying to make like music on my iPad because it, I want to connect a MIDI keyboard, uh, headphones. You know, I want to charge it as well, so there's a whole bunch of USB-C hubs. But what's special about this one is this one actually is made specifically for the iPad. And so I can just slide it in like so. And then this connector just pops in and connects to the charge port. And just like that, you have an iPad that doesn't even look like it has anything attached to it because it's on the side profile, right? That, to me, it's really cool because I don't have anything dangling off like other USB-C hubs just dangle. That's why they call them dongles because they they dongle. Okay, what else is on the list, eh? 
what else is on the list? I'm about to introduce to you guys two of my favorite keyboards in the world. Right? Two of my favorite keyboards. Like these keyboards have been so useful. It's funny that they're both called keyboards, but yes. Let's start with this one right here. This is the Akai MPK Mini 25 Keys. I bought this way back in, I don't know, 2013. So it's pretty much like almost eight years old and it's still working perfectly. All the keys work, all the pads for drum and all the knobs, they all work, they're all good. And yeah, I've been using this to make music on my iPad and it's been a real treat to be able to actually play the keys and not use the touch screen because it sometimes doesn't feel as nice, right? And you can't do like complicated stuff with it. The only gripe with this is, you know, being a product in 2013, you wouldn't expect it to have modern I.O. And so it has this USB mini B connector, which has been kind of annoying because the one that it came with, I guess was faulty. And so I had to get the next one. Akai MPK mini, very good. Um, MIDI controller for your music needs. The next keyboard on the list <laughs> is one item that I never thought I would be in love with and it's a external keyboard, right? I've been using this to type so much. I, I've typed so much in all of 2020 compared to my entire life, right? <laughs> and so this external keyboard has been really nice. What I like about it is it's full size. It's super thin, right? And the battery, battery lasts months, you know, since it's just Bluetooth and there's no like lights and like other stuff, it lasts months. Like, I don't remember the last time I charged it. Like, I got this back in last year, I think of, you know, December 2019 when we could have gone home. And I think I charged it probably twice since then, you know. So battery life is incredible. It has full-size keys, it has great travel and it just is a nice joy to use when I'm scripting on my iPad or whatever typing needs on my iPad. If you ever need this to go wired, you can just use the lightning port here and just connect it to a computer. The last two items are the tripod, which is what I am using right now. I can't show you guys. Maybe I can, but okay. Let's just talk about the gimbal first, right? This, this is a gimbal. What is a gimbal? This is a three axis stabilizer, right? Gimbals stabilize whatever device that you are using, right? To shoot video with or just take pictures. This one is a Zhiyun Smooth 4 and it's made specifically for phones. So let me show you how it works. I have my phone here. I'm gonna open up the camera app and then I'm going to just slide it into here. So. Let's see if I can do this right, huh? And not break anything. Okay, right, awesome. All right, and now, what you do is you just basically, normally you would put this on a level ground and like hold it like so. And then like you press the button, the on button. And then next thing you know, it just, magically stabilizes your phone. And as you can see, it stabilizes your footage. And I haven't been using this as much as I would have liked because uh, it's pretty bulky. It makes me feel like, you know, people are watching me and stuff. But slowly, I think I'll be starting to use this a lot more um, for like just films and stuff. Um, one of the reasons why I haven't been using this is because the, my main phone, which is the phone I was using before, on the Note 8, it died, and so I had to use this backup phone from somebody, which I've had to buy, and it only has 16 gigabytes of storage, so I have been discouraged to shoot anything else with my phone. So I've been mainly using a, a real camera, which this gimbal won't be able to support. You know, this has been nice. Um, the last couple live streams, if you haven't seen it yet, were all shot using this rig here. And so, definitely something that I really am super grateful to have. And the final thing I'm going to talk to you about is one thing that has been super important in my YouTube, whatever, right? I'm going to show you right now. Okay, alright, 
this is not good. All right, so I'm gonna take the camera off of it now. Excuse me, guys. This is not gonna be easy, being one-handed. All right, so the last thing that we have, I'm gonna show you guys now, is this tripod. This tripod is a thing that, you know, it has three legs, hence the name tripod. It holds your camera for you. If you're like me, you don't have people to help you hold the camera all the time and so having one of these big boys can really help you know just help you right and it's really nice this this tripod is from Mactrum CT62A Carlsbad whatever that means but yeah it's a nice I think it's 62 inches or something but it's really tall you know I'm a tall guy I'm like 175 centimeters or something like that and this tripod can reach all the way to my height with the camera on top no problem it's really sturdy I really like that what else do I like about it oh I like the fact that it, it double duty it, it double it have you ever had a dream that that you um you had you 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 could you do you you want you you could do so you you do you could you you want you it can also be used as a monopod you can screw off one of the legs and actually use it as a monopod which is just one leg right and that can give you cool like shots if you hook it up to a gimbal or something you can definitely use it as a crane or like make some drone shots or something like that and it's just pretty versatile it also comes with a phone clamp so if you wanted to use it with your phone you definitely don't have to buy any other extra accessories because and all in all it's been great this is probably the one of the most important items in all of this list here and so really grateful for that all right guys so thanks for watching hope you enjoyed hope you liked and you know got something from this video and if you you know Christmas is coming and you got to be grateful for what you have already and not what you want to have that's all <laughs> see you in the next one guys